ITIL 4, Connecting Key Concepts. ITIL 4, the latest evolution of ITIL, provides a holistic way for IT professionals and organisations around the world to co-create value in the modern service economy. All organisations have resources that need to be configured to create products that offer value to potential consumers. From these products, the organisation creates service offerings, which are designed to address the needs of consumers or consumer segments such as quality and price. By doing so, the organisation acts as a service provider. Other organisations or individuals acting as service consumers choose the service offering that best suits their needs. They enter a service relationship to interact with the provider, which in turn generates or co-creates value for the consumer and provider. For example, a bank might create a mobile banking app for customers, but value is only co-created when the customer uses the app to pay bills or transfer money, which generates data and possibly transaction fees for the bank. Value can be shared among multiple stakeholders, for example, the provider, the consumer, suppliers and potentially regulators and tax authorities. In turn, these stakeholders exert influence or constraints on the service provider. We can describe these using the PESTEL model. Political, economic, social, technological, legal and environmental factors can impact the way the service provider manages its work and resources. ITIL 4 provides a model to describe the organization's resources, the four dimensions of service management. These dimensions, organizations and people, value streams and processes, partners and suppliers, and information and technology do not exist in isolation, they overlap and interact with each other. For example, the bank needs to create appropriate management oversight to manage the data generated by its app. This requires training users on how to manage data assets, processes to deal with incidents and requests, and the required tools and technologies. At the same time, they should ensure their partners and suppliers comply with the bank's requirements. By managing the four dimensions, the organisation can leverage the Service Value System Model, or SVS, that describes the various organisational components of the service provider. These components are guiding principles, governance, the service value chain, practices and the continual improvement of the whole system. The guiding principles together with continual improvement can help the organisation align their IT service management with lean and agile frameworks. In the middle of the SVS, we have the service value chain, which is a set of loosely connected value chain activities, which convert consumer demand into valuable products and services. Practices support and contribute to value chain activities. Practices are an evolution of the ITIL version 3 processes and are structured using the four dimensions model. A sequence of value chain activities designed to meet the needs of a specific scenario is called a value stream, which results in a functioning product or service. For example, the bank has a value stream that maps the activities needed to design, develop and release new app functionality. Another value stream maps the activities needed to support user complaints. Each value stream may include different activities, but each one starts with opportunity or demand and ends with value derived from products and services. Techniques like value stream mapping can help to optimize the value stream before the organization considers automating repeatable tasks. In order to design and run a new value stream, the organization should consider these key concepts of ITIL 4. And by adopting these key concepts together, organizations can create a flexible and effective architecture that delivers world-class IT-enabled services.
Welcome to the future of ITIL.